Hey everybody, it's the Wayfaring Barfly. I'm in Cave City, Kentucky. And um, I'm gonna do something a little different today. It's a little above my population limit, but that's okay. Uh, it's got three bars here. I only got to go in two yesterday, so I'm not really prepared for the third one, but we'll see how it goes. So this is the dive. Um, they have a, a food truck over here. This, this is pretty good. And then, uh, so let's go inside. This is owned, uh, the great, 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 the great, great niece of Floyd Collins. Owns this bar with, I think, her sister and a friend or something. Let me see. So there's the helmet there. This is really cool. I love this. So we've got the... Yes. Uh, grab a seat. Just like riding in a pickup truck. And she said they dance on this too, so it's pretty sturdy. I love that. Okay, so this over here, there was a fellow that used to hang around downtown called Tommy Two Fingers and this is Tommy's urn he was uh, an icon in the in the area sort of an unofficial manager helper the bar is made up it's got postcards they've got doctor statements deposit slips uh, school dance announcements uh, Pictures of people in, you know, from the town from years ago. Uh, they'll sit here, people sit here and recognize their grandfather or a place their grandfather owned or something like that. But I thought that was pretty cool. And then, uh, oh, the, the, this uh, the owner's uh, father had kind of a bike collection, I guess. So these lights were bicycles that he owned. Um, he did motorcycle work as well. Okay, this is the bike, uh, this is Tommy Two Fingers bike. I think it's got the old cigarette machine. No cigarettes in it, but it's okay. They've got a breathalyzer. And she said that they use the, uh, all the money from the breathalyzer goes to the police. That's Tommy Two Fingers' bike. I think I said that. Paps. Um, yeah, there's the newspaper clipping from Floyd Collins when they found him. Back here, they've got on oh, the chairs too. They've got some really, you know, got some stuff in here for comfort. So the games, I guess people like their gambling games, so they have this in here. The dollar bills, I've seen this in three locations now, which is pretty cool. Back here, you've got some uh, names and things on the wall, another pool table, nice comfy couch. Okay, let's see back here. Oh, what the heck is this? Huh, what do you know about that? So, okay. I really like this space. It's pretty cool. The, the separate rooms and... Oh, um, I didn't get to find out exactly. I don't know if they do it every weekend or what the deal is. They've got a, a small stage up here and I guess they set up a cross here on the other side as well, so... So for some live music. So this is the dive in Cave City, Kentucky. Oh, it's another one with the tin ceiling. I love the tin ceilings. I've seen a number of these. So I'm going to move on to the next one. And um, I'm going to attempt to do this all in one video. But if I fail, I guess I'll post more than one. 
How about that? So I will see you in a moment. The dive. Oh, they're also... I'm going to try to do this without getting anybody in here. I think I accidentally got Leticia in here earlier. But let's see what I can do about this. Yeah, the food truck. You can see the back of his head and that's front. So the food truck's got a really cool menu. Got some really cool stuff on it. But I think that belongs to the, that's the bars also. So I'll just, you can pause it and look at it if you want to look at the menu. And they're building a bandstand over here for some activities. And I think she said they were planning to do like a weekly thing out here. So that's really cool. So all right, so this has uh, been the dive. And uh, I'll check with you in just a minute. So uh, let me tell you something, folks. This is uh, the food truck I was uh, showing you earlier outside of the dive. It belongs to the dive. This morning slider, oh man, it is so good. It is so good. I'm gonna come back, I'll have probably finished the video by that time, but I'm gonna come back and try the uh, Mexican street corn, but you'll have to wait and see later. So I'm taking a walk down the street here to Rock's Glass. I'm not sure if they're yet, there yet this morning to talk to me, but uh, I'm going to check it out. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're at the Rocks Glass now, and uh, this building was born. Uh, was uh, I keep wanting to say that built in 1913. There was a barber shop in the basement and then a pharmacy upstairs. Uh, it's, it's just recently opened, and it's, I was in here last night. And had a really good time. This. This is Tommy Two Fingers, who I was talking about earlier. So let's go take a look at the inside. They've used a lot of recycled stuff to um, to remodel the, the place. Got the tin ceilings again. This, he took all this plaster off the brick. <laughs> Designed the shaped all the the left some plaster and shaped it all up, up on top uh, uh, this is a uh, got a little uh i like that they download the app and you can play some songs oh over here i recently saw just now i guess some bands that played in here Things needed at the food pantry. So they said there's plenty of country music around here, so they wanted to have a place with some rock music. And uh, this is a good place. I played in here last night. It was fun. Then, you know, just a short set. This, his dad had, it's off of an old barn, roof off an old barn. I thought that is so cool. So, like I said, he said there's a lot of, use a lot of recyclable, recycled material. Pool table. Huh, ah, what the heck? Huh. And uh, so this is the stage here for, well, it must be really something. But anyway, I really liked the place. Had a good time, it was a nice crowd here last night. And I just like the way it's decorated. I like the atmosphere. I like the um, personalities. But, oh, it's, they've got like a death pop. I guess that's like Jaeger and a Fago. 
Fago Cream Soda and Jaeger. I think. The Death Pop. Yeah. So let me see if there's anything else. I mean this I mean it's uh somebody left their cane here on opening night. Okay. Again, this is Rock's Glass. Cave City, Kentucky. I'll be coming back. Oh, they also said that there was some talk about spirits in the basement. So... <laughs> Don't come hiding out in the basement after closing time. It could be trouble. All right. Well, again, this has been Rock's Glass. And I'm going to move down the street here and check out the, uh, the third establishment. There's some speculation is they might not be there. I'm going to talk to them and see if I'll even do that video. So I'll check back with you here in just a minute. Well, this is supposed to be number three, but they don't appear to be open. Uh, there's some talk that uh, they're moving their location. Um, so I don't know. I guess uh, this one, uh, this one's a bust. But uh, Cave City has been good. I've had a good time here in Cave City. Some historical stuff. The, uh, the bar was the bars are pretty cool so you've got two to choose from downtown and I would recommend down I know you've got stuff out there by the hotels and stuff but come downtown Cave City see what's going on it's a pretty cool little place that food truck down there I'm going back for the Mexican corn so alright this has been the Wayfaring Barfly in Cave City Kentucky and I'll talk to y'all later